What's up, guys? This is 139. I'm reviewing uh, the, the Marvel movie Venom. This is the second time I've seen Venom. Um, I saw it in the theaters, and now I, I bought it uh, on Blu-ray um, around Black Friday. I think it was actually Black Friday the day. I went out that day and I bought a bunch of movies. I'm pretty sure this was one of them. Um, Venom, Tom Hardy movie. Uh, <clears throat> I remember liking it a lot in the theaters. Uh, I just had a good time watching it. Um, that, that holds true, again, upon second viewing. Um, Tom Hardy just plays a great Venom, in my opinion. Um, well, he plays a great Eddie Brock, really. Venom's a separate character. Um, Venom's a symbiote from a different planet. Uh, gets pulled down. Um, well, gets captured, I guess. I'm, I'm assuming they're captured um, and brought down from this from a spaceship. Him and a, a three other symbiotes. Uh, they're basically aliens. Uh, brought down and they're being studied by somebody named something Drake don't know his first name um, but he's basically like an eccentric uh, scientist um, you know he it's a very common um, uh, villain motivation is you know he doesn't believe that that humans are, are great for the earth and we're doing all this and that and you know um, we can basically go and live with the symbiotes uh, we have to find they have to find a way to get the symbiotes to merge with human beings and not have it be lethal to the human being. Um, they're having issues with that. Um, one of them escapes um, and finds its way, actually finds its way into being, um, <clears throat> into Drake. Uh, that's, that's Riot, his name is. He's the main villain, I guess. Drake's really the villain, but Riot, Riot is like his symbiote. Um, now, Tom Hardy's character, Eddie Brock, if you don't know who Eddie Brock is, he's, he's a uh, reporter. Um, he tells it like it is in this movie. <clears throat> Man of the people, you could say. Um, and he gets, he gets uh, assigned to interview this Drake guy, and he basically puts him on blast, um, gets fired from his job, um, can't really find work, is, is living in some shitty apartment in, in San Francisco, um, and then one day comes across, well, yeah, okay, yeah, comes across a scientist in, um, in a store, he's just buying milk or something, comes across a scientist in a store, and she works for this Drake guy, and she basically tells him that Drake is using human beings, poor people, uh, you know, homeless people, he's using them as, uh, experiment, or, like, lab rats, basically, you know, using them for experiments, um, and he's trying to find somebody who will form with the symbiote uh, without them dying from it. Um, and she feels terrible about it, you know, but there's nothing really she can do because he basically threatens her family indirectly. He says, uh, how's your family doing, by the way? Oh, get that done. Okay, great. So he, like, basically is, like, blackmailing her. Uh, she uh, eventually just can't deal with it anymore, and goes and finds Eddie Brock, knowing his history of being a great, you know, people person, tell it like it is reporter, um, and actually brings him to the lab <clears throat> to get pictures so he can show it to, you know, he can use his contacts and everything uh, to expose this Drake guy, scientist, and um, he ends up finding somebody that he knows in, in there, being experimented on. And uh, he lets her out of the cell. He gets, like, emotional and lets her out. Then the symbiote transfers from her onto him, and that's how he gets venom. Um, the girl dies. Um, the person you know died. I guess it wasn't a perfect match. But um, Venom ends up being a perfect match for Eddie Brock. Um, a lot of people were wanting a, a anti, almost like an anti-villain type of movie because I'm not incredibly familiar with Venom. I just really know him from Spider-Man 3, the original trilogy. Spider-Man, I just know that version of him, and that's not even really explained that much. Um, not the most memorable movie either, so I, I mean, I'm sure I, if I watched it before this, I could know a little more about it for some more context. Um, <clears throat> but this version of Venom is not a villain, necessarily, like the Spider-Man 3 version of Venom is. Um, this version is... is Starts out initially being, being uh, you know, going along with the plan. Apparently, the plan of the symbiotes was to um, 
was to get back to the ship, launch the ship, and then have all the other symbiotes come with them, and they can live off of all the people here. Um, that was the plan. And, <clears throat> you know, after spending some time with Eddie, uh, apparently uh, Venom decides that that's not what he wants. He likes it here. Um, he says Eddie's kind of a loser on his planet. He's kind of a loser, too. And here he could be somebody. So he basically wants to thwart the plan of Riot, really. Um, Nathan, or I want to say Nathan Drake, like Uncharted, but Drake, I don't, I don't know his, um, I don't know his, his first name. I forget his name, Charleston or something like that. I don't know that's why that's on my head, but um, he wants to thwart those plans, and he ends up fighting. They fight Riot. Um, there's a lot of scenes where, of course, um, you know, Drake finds out about about Tom Hardy's character Eddie Brock having the symbiote within him. And there's a lot of awesome scenes, one being a, a motorcycle chase. That's probably, that's maybe the second best scene in the whole movie, in my opinion. Um, a really badass motorcycle chase. Might even be the first one. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're chasing him, and finally they end up one-on-one -on -one each other. Uh, Venom and Eddie Brock being on the same page, as well as Drake and Riot. They fight. The fight's decent. Um, it's, it's probably you know, my least favorite fight in the whole movie. Um, it's just a CGI fest. It's not terrible. It's not, um, <clears throat> I just personally prefer, uh, like, good coordinated, you know, normal fighting without any CGI involved. Um, and that's what a lot of the, well, not a lot, because Venom's, you know, shooting his arms out and shit like that. But it's still, you know, quality fighting rather than two of those symbiotes you know kind of like at one point they form together and they're one and then separates it's interesting but it's just not i don't think it's the best fight scene in the movie i liked it though i don't think it sucks i like it just not as good as the other ones um but basically what happens is venom ends up you know getting his ass beat um <clears throat> that well not really he, he kind of fights pretty good too um but they get separated from their symbiotes and um I'd, they somehow riot and Drake end up on the rocket. Um, Venom and Eddie Brock are on the rocket, and Venom sacrifices himself. You initially think uh, to stop the rocket from being launched, and the movie, you know, the most of it ends at that point. Drake dies along with Riot, um, and you think Venom dies, but it ends up he's alive. They don't explain how he's alive; he just is. Um, at the end, he's still linked with Eddie and all. Um, so, you know, I understand a lot of people didn't want it to be like this. It's basically, you know, it's a very funny movie. That's my favorite part of the whole movie is, um, Eddie and Venom's back and forth, their relationship. It's hilarious. Um, you know, Ven Venom's voice is perfect. He looks perfect in my opinion. He looks awesome. Um, and it's just funny to see them two interact together, you know, like, uh, Right off the bat, Venom saying we, we, like he's not like possessive, like this, you're mine now, or anything like that. You can tell he's kind of like a, a goofball. Um, just not really saying jokes, just kind of, uh, sort of saying jokes, but most, most, the funny part is just the, the clash between Eddie is so freaked out, but yet he's like cool with it almost, and Venom is just like right off the bat, like, yeah, we need tater tots and chocolate. Like, this shit is hilarious. <laughs> If I, there's one part where Eddie's on the phone and he has, doesn't really know what happened yet, so he, but he's like just going along with it. It's funny. He's on the phone talking about something serious. I think he's talking about how he doesn't feel well to his ex-girlfriend. And uh, Venom just goes, food! And he goes, oh! <laughs> it's, it's so funny. It's like, who said that? It makes me laugh. Um, that just that them going back and forth talking to each other is just so funny. Um and how they embrace each other at the end, and even even early on is, is funny. So this is one of those ones where, objectively, is it a good movie? Not really, but I enjoyed it a lot, watching it twice. You know, I enjoyed it. I watched it again. I, 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 I liked the way Venom looked. I liked the way he sounded. I liked the fighting. I liked Tom Hardy's performance. Um, and really, it's just like a personal favorite of mine. I know it's really not that good. Like, it's just like a... You know, it's just, everybody has some movies that they like that others are like, that movie sucks, you know? Like, so what I'm saying is, like, objectively, it's probably, like, a 4, but for me, I'm going to give it a 7.5, because I really enjoyed it, I really liked, uh, the things that I said, I liked a lot, you know? It's not like, they, they were decent, like, I really liked them. Um, now, there's a lot of flaws, you know, you don't really buy Venom and Eddie Brock's uh, 
not really the I guess sort of the relationship and especially where it goes you know like right off the bat if the plan was to um, you know for Venom to travel to the rocket ship travel to his plan bring everybody back you know and then he says Eddie you're why I'm staying but it's like they never really had like any emotional moment or anything like that you know it's just them have been like goofing kind of goofing off the whole time and there wasn't any really emotional weight to their relationship it was just kind of them it was a having a good time really that's what I did I had a good time but there wasn't anything like deep or like reason a reason why he would stay. He said it's because on his planet he's a loser and Eddie's a loser. So, but you don't really buy that honestly. Um, there's some weird parts where he has he has this ex girlfriend and um, ex fiance, and she's with another guy at this point. She kicks him out because Eddie. Um, she was working for, she was her law firm. She was a lawyer. Worked for Drake, and or worked on some of his cases or something. And Eddie, basically, when he exposed them, she got fired. And she blamed Eddie for that. Even though I was like, but you were working for a terrible person who's using human subjects and killing them. I'm like, is it, re like, is it really that bad that he called the guy out on that? Like, I mean, these people were dying. Like, you know, like, think a little deeper than I lost my job when your job was shitty. You know, working for someone who's shitty. <laughs> but, I don't know, that's up for, up for interpretation. But anyway, they, they had that relationship the whole time. And there was one part where, like, she was so mad at him, and then suddenly she's, like, all all close with him again. It just it didn't really make sense. Um, there's a part where she, like, Venom gets kicked out of him because he fires. She fires these, um, some, like, res wave, some 4,000 to 6,000 hertz, I think it is. I don't know what hertz, like, hertz exactly, how low of frequency that is. I don't know. Um, but she fires that from, like, an MRI machine, and Venom, like, separates from Eddie. Um, and then, and then Venom says she likes her after that, like, she almost just killed you, now you like her, I don't know why, there's no reason for why, you know, he would have liked her, it doesn't make sense, and then she, actually, who was so freaked out about the Venom thing the whole time, lets it possess her, and I'm like, wait, what, but it's off screen, you, you just see the dog who got possessed by Venom after it was kicked out of Eddie, you see the dog get taken over by Venom, and you can tell because the eyes are black, um, and then it like stares at the girl and she's looking at it and then all of a sudden it cuts to a scene in the woods where she's running in the woods as Venom and you're like what but she was just terrified of Venom why is she suddenly like let it just take over her why does why does she understand it's like Venom's uh, drive to do this and she's like I want to fight I'm like wait what like it's like they, they skip like 10 minutes or something though but you know like I said all those things aside, there's plenty of flaws in the movie. It's not, probably not really objectively a good movie, but I just personally enjoy it. That's why I give it a 7.5. Um, I really enjoy Tom Hardy's performance. He actually reminds me of the, I heard, and I, somebody else said this, not me, but he reminds me of the guy from Men in Black. When he, when that guy from Men in Black is taken over, uh, like his body's being used by that giant bug alien. He kind of, his performance is kind of like that. He's like sloppy, like weird and all, um, you know, like slurring his words and just like all like awkward and tense all the time it kind of reminds me of him um and that that guy made me laugh so much that was my favorite part when he was trying to act like a human being <laughs> it's so funny um and it's it's like that too kind of uh just along with venom you know saying his stupid shit calling him a pussy for not wanting to jump out of a window and just being like a honestly he's like a good bro to him it's kind of i don't know i just i enjoyed their relationship um, and I would like to see another one. You know, I, I would I would definitely go out and see Venom 2 or whatever it would be called. Or if there's a crossover with Spider-Man, I would love to see something like that. Um, so 7.5 for me, probably a 4 in real life. But for me, or not in real life, but in my head, I give it a 7.5. Um, and that's, that's what I got. Thanks.